Have you ever had a fill out a page in Business Central only to accidentally change a field you didn't mean to? Field Security Plus provides a solution for this problem by limiting which fields can be altered on a page. Standard Business Central permissions work at a table level. This means that if a user has permissions to modify a record, they have permissions to modify all editable fields on that record. So for example, a user with permission to modify the customer record can modify any editable field on the customer card. However, you may want to restrict certain fields from being changed. And this is where Field Security Plus comes in. With Field Security, you can prevent certain fields from being changed while still allowing users to import data into other fields. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to navigate to the Field Security Setup table and into the Tables option. I'm going to select the option to only show me tables that already have restrictions applied and the table that I'm interested in is the customer table. Over here we can see that I have already set up four fields as being restricted. Let's drill through to that. I'm now looking at a list of all fields on the customer table and I'm going to limit that list by showing only restricted fields. So these are fields I have already set up. So I've chosen to use these four fields in this example, the credit limit, customer posting group, payment terms code, and the general business posting group. On the first option, I've added a restriction to say disallow users or user groups. And the user group that I've selected is the sales D365 group. However, I am allowing first entry. So this means that anyone creating this customer for the first time will be able to enter in the credit limit, but they won't be able to change it thereafter. A user with the correct permissions would need to change it after the first entry. The three other options are going to be inherited from a customer template, which you'll see a little bit later in this example. And in order for the system to change these fields, I need to enable the restrict mandatory user changes only. And what this will do for me is it'll allow the customer template to, to alter these fields on the customer card but not the user directly. So let's take a look at that in action. I'm going to navigate through to the customer list and from here I'm going to initialize a new customer. You'll see that a prompt has been shown to the user and two various templates have been displayed that I can select from. There's no limits to the amount of templates you can use here and these are very handy when setting up new customers. I'm going to use the first template and initialize this customer record. I'm going to give my customer name and I'm going to drill down, navigate down to the various fields that were populated via the customer template. Now, because I have restrictions on these fields, if I try and alter them, I will get an error message and it will state that the general business person group has been marked as restricted. So this prevents a user from altering this field once it has a value or once it's been populated. If I refresh this, the change will roll back and the domestic general business posting group has been reinstated. The other field that has been limited on here is payment terms, which was also populated through the customer template. If I delete that, I'm going to get a similar error message. So let's have a look at the behavior of the credit limit field. The credit limit field is currently zero because it did not inherit from the customer template and I'm going to enter in a $10,000 credit limit against this customer. So now that that value has been entered, if I try and change that value, I will receive an error saying that the credit limit field has been marked as restricted. In order to correct this issue, a user with the correct permissions would need to alter that credit limit for the second time. 